Luke Thiessen is part of an exclusive club, a group of underwater football players in Winnipeg. It is unlike any sport I've seen. It has so many unique characteristics about it that you don't see in things like, you know, hockey or basketball or soccer, or many of the more common sports. Among them, a ball that sinks to the bottom of the pool. It's five on five, full contact below the neck, and you score by getting the ball out of the water at the opposing end. Sometimes when two people are wrestling for a ball, there will literally be, you know, three people kind of in one just huge bear hug with the ball somewhere in the middle and you really can't tell whose foot is whose. Almost every game you come up with a few accidental scratches. Uh, sometimes you can get a knee in the face or an accidental kick in the face. The sport also requires strategy and smarts. My favorite aspect about this sport is that it's like three-dimensional. So you can literally get passes from like above you, below you, from the sides. Uh, and just it makes it a lot more interesting, I find, because like you can get tackled from every direction too. Pressure. Nice pressure. Winnipeg is currently home to two underwater football clubs, and this city has hosted previous world championships. The game was invented by a scuba instructor at the University of Manitoba in 1967. The toughest part about the sport? Breathing underwater. One of the first things that first time players have trouble with is using their snorkel properly. They have to be able to keep their eye on the ball. They have to know where it is, so they have to keep their face in the water. Even just come out for a day, put a mask on, get your face under the water. It's a, it's a really different game looking at it from above water than looking at it from below. Nolan Cole, CTV News, Winnipeg.